3D printing allows us to create objects with varying elastic properties. Given a reference object and Q possible reproductions, we seek an answer to the question. Can we quantify the perceived differences between them? We tackle this question by building a perceptual space of compliance. To build the perceptual space, we first 3D printed a dozen of cubes exhibiting different non-linearly elastic behavior. For each of the cubes, their corresponding force displacement curve was extracted using an uniaxial measuring device. Next, a psychophysical study was conducted. Participants were presented with three blocks, one reference and two tests, and asked to examine each block with a finger. Later, they had to indicate which of the test samples was more similar to the reference one. From the data obtained in this experiment, we computed a perceptual space for compliance and proposed its analytical approximation. The input to our analytical model are measured force displacement data and a histogram of peak forces applied to the sample during the experiment. Using this data, the model can predict the perceived compliance and place each sample in the perceptual space. We also demonstrate how this model can be extended to arbitrary shaped elastic 3D objects. To this end, first a physically based simulation of an interaction with a finger-like indenter is used to recover force displacement data. To recover the peak force histogram, we use our histogram database for the cubes and search for most similar curves. Q closest curves are selected and their histograms are interpolated. Our compliance model is then used to predict the perceived compliance of one point from the input object. We repeat this process for a sampled set of points on the input object. Finally, by interpolating the computed values, we create a dense map of predicted compliance properties. Here we present selected results from our validation studies. In the first study, we presented participants with six 3D printed octopus toys. Their task was to select the two most representative octopi. We predicted the choice using our model and LQ norm. The pair predicted using our model was the most often picked one. Meanwhile, the LQ prediction was never chosen. In second trial, the participants were asked to pick three out of six possible octopi. Again, our prediction was the most often picked triplet, while LQ prediction was never selected. During our second study, users were presented with three seahorses made from different materials. One seahorse was set as the reference and the task was to pick the best reproduction from the two remaining seahorses. In the first example, our prediction agreed with 62% of votes. During the second trial, our participants voted for the replica selected by our model. In the last example, 94% of participants voted for our reproduction. Finally, we present interactions with objects that were used for validating our compliance model. Thanks for your attention.